All right, guys, so Piccolo finally got his Extreme Z Awakening, this new AGL free-to-play Piccolo. He is pretty damn good. And we did get a buff to this unit uh, when the info for the AGL Goku Dokkan Fest and Tech Frieza Dual Dokkan Fest was put into the game. Piccolo was also added to the Revived Warrior category, which is a monster buff for this guy because previously he was only on the Namekian category and the Planet Namek Saga category. Both of those, however, don't have a true powerful category leader, but now our boy Piccolo is on the Revived Warrior category, which again is a true category. You know, Frieza giving, uh, you know, 170% to attack. So Piccolo could probably look pretty good and he actually has some units he links pretty solidly with on the Revived Warrior category as well. So Piccolo does fit on the category. It, it's so weird that they, it seems like they like literally forgot. They were like, oh, whoops, he is supposed to be on the Revived Warrior category. So they gave it to him. Uh, now, I did fully Extreme Z Awaken him uh, off camera. You know, at this point, we've done you know, a million easy A's, you know, we know what the awakening process is. I used to do videos on just the awakening process alone, but I don't feel as though those are really needed anymore. Uh, one thing I did wait, though, is to get him the SA-15, because, you know, you get your copy, you rainbow him, you SA-10 him, but after you fully easy A him, you know, he then has an extra five levels of SA that he needs. This is why you do this, something I told a lot of y'all to do, is farm up a second copy and get him to easy a5 because then if you do that all we do boom add him right in and bam sa15 just like that very simple very easy very clean saves you a lot of kais and you can get this man to sa15 for free like that which is going to allow him to be a pretty big hitter uh so all right now that we've done that uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop into an event and we'll test out this Piccolo on the Revived Warrior Category T. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and hop in with a Revived Warrior team looking like this. So we're going to do two rotations. We will have the Angel Golden Frieza have a rotation with the Transforming Frieza I think would work pretty well. Uh, and we're actually going to have the EZA Piccolo link up with Tech Tapion. Now, Tech Tapion is a pretty good unit. He's a nice defensive unit, uh, but he's also an orb changer. So I feel as though he's going to work really uh, help. Like he's going to work really well. He's going to be very helpful uh, for the Easy A Piccolo because uh, he will help create more rainbow orbs for the Easy A Piccolo to get uh, his increased strength. Because in case you guys forgot what the Piccolo does, uh, once you know he becomes the uh, fuse with Nail, he gets an additional what? 15% from Rainbow Key Spheres, which is uh, quite a lot. So he's going to look pretty good. Uh, this Piccolo actually is like, he just does so much that I feel as though he's going to be a very uh, useful unit for a lot of players and a lot of free-to-play players. Uh, I decided to hop into the Ultra Instant Goku boss fight, which I feel is the hardest uh, Dokkan Fest boss fight. It's also the longest uh, Dokkan Fest boss fight as well. Well, one of them, right? Which will be helpful since uh, I do want to get Piccolo's uh, transformation to activate. Uh, only thing that is going to be a shame, of course, is that on the Revived Warrior team, uh, whenever there's a rotation where Easy A Frieza, or is it Easy A, uh, whenever there's a rotation where uh, Angel Golden Freeze is going to be around, he will lower uh, Piccolo's attack because Piccolo is a super type. So to clarify, we're going to have three floaters, uh, Int Metal Cooler, Super Saiyan Bardock, and an Angel Golden Frieza. When the Angel Golden Frieza comes back around, it's going to be problematic because uh, he will lower Piccolo's uh, super attack level. Uh, this actually did work out in like the worst possible way, by the way. Uh, we got exactly the rotations that I did not want. Uh, I wanted to... Like, Piccolo started out in the seventh slot. I mean... When you do, like, a showcase for a unit, uh, it, it's it's a safe bet that that unit will uh, many times end up in the last slot. Okay, Bardock really got messed up right there. That's okay. I, I don't mind uh, using items and stuff, like, in the showcase. Like, I just wanted to sort of maximize how Piccolo is going to look. Uh, I even brought uh, a couple of support-type units. Really, the only unit I probably wouldn't often run on this team is Bardock. 
Uh, but I, I would frequently run uh, like Tex Hapion. Tex Hapion's a really good unit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to push uh, the Transforming Frieza off rotation. Uh, we can get Piccolo a super attack here. Do keep in mind, however, that Piccolo is going to be hitting uh, a little lighter than usual because uh, Angel Golden Frieza is there lowering his attack. Uh, really, I should have maybe prioritized pushing Angel Golden Frieza off the rotation too, but it, it, it's not really going to be that big of a deal uh, because, you know, I want to... We're going to have things sorted by the time we get to UI Goku, which is really all that's important. Uh, okay, so... Oh, man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I, I think we can save an item right here because Bardock seals... So all we have to do right here is uh, get Bardock a super attack, and we actually are not going to need to use uh, a Ghost Usher right here, which is good for me because I have been trying to uh, conserve all of my Ghost Ushers uh, for the World Tournament. In the last World Tournament, uh, grinding up to rank 92, I used so many Ghost Ushers. It was a real uh, pain. We're also going to see Golden Frieza in this fight, I believe, because... I'm stalling to the extent to get my rotations in check that <laughs> Golden Freeze is probably coming out. Uh, so there, we don't have to worry about getting hit by the Spirit Bomb uh, on the next rotation either. Again, Angel Golden Freeze is still going to be around, uh, but we get this to happen. There we go. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that was the goofiest shit in the world when he does that. Okay. So, remember... Piccolo gets a massive buff from Rainbow Key Spheres. He also gets a big healing buff if I if yeah from from Rainbow Key Spheres just like that. So Piccolo healed up all that damage we took. Now keep in mind, Angel Golden Frieza is on rotation right now. So uh, Piccolo's damage is lowered by Angel Golden Frieza. 1.1. Okay, that's nice. With his attack being lowered, he had 1.1 right there. So then if we get, you know, Bardock on rotation, or if we have a uh, Metal Cooler on rotation, Piccolo should be able to get to like 1.3, 1.4. Uh, not bad for a free-to-play unit. Not fucking bad at all. Very, very good. Now, with Tapion, by the way, Piccolo does share two links. He shares Experienced Fighters as well as Brainiacs. So he's getting 20% attack from Tapion. Uh, so that's one reason that's very helpful that... Um, Okay, so we don't want to expose uh, the Tech Freeze uh, to uh, that uh, <laughs> uh, UI Goku attack. Let's let's not do that. Even this Bardock is probably going to get hit pretty hard by UI Goku at the end. Now, Frieza, Frieza, the Tech Freeze, of course, is a pretty good defensive unit until about the third form. After he goes to final form, though, he's going to start being able to take a little bit of damage. So if you know we get to a turn where Final Form or uh, Golden Frieza is out against Mastered Ultra Instant Goku, I probably will have to use an item, because UI Goku doesn't fuck around. He will super that Frieza for like 200k and think nothing of it, so uh, your boy will need to be careful there. But on the next turn is going to be our best opportunity to see like what uh, Piccolo's maximum attack power is going to be, because Metal Cooler, he only gives key to extreme-type allies, but he... D oh! The dream! Yes! <laughs> this is why it was such a big deal that Pic... Look at this field of orbs! This is why it was a big deal that Piccolo is on the revived weird category. Because if you're free to play, Tech Tapion is a unit I'm sure a lot of people have pulled. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he was featured... On the three-year anniversary ticket banner, the one that they gave out like 150 plus free-to-play uh, tickets on that. So I'm sure a good amount of people pulled Tech Tapion. If you are a free-to-play player, this Piccolo combined with Tech Tapion is not a bad rotation. And look at this: five Rainbow Key Spheres. This is going to be Piccolo's max potential right here. Revived Warrior Team with Tech Tapion. Metal Cooler gives a 30% attack buff. He only gives two key to extreme type allies, but the 30% attack buff is to all allies. So let's see what Piccolo is capable of doing. 1.46. 
free to play, by the way. He is a free to play unit. 1.46 million attack stats. That is very, very impressive. This Piccolo is a strong unit. Don't worry about the damage he did. He did a low amount of damage, but that's because Ultra Instant Goku does not fuck around. Like, in order to... Wow, even Metal Cooler takes 30 AK. This is gonna hurt really bad. Oh, boy. Yeah, UI Goku. This is why I always say UI Goku is easily the hardest uh, boss fight in the game. Look at that damage he does. All right, so we actually got Final Form Freeze, though. Uh, I really think we are going to see... Uh, whatchamacallit? In this video, we're gonna see Golden Frieza probably. Um, okay, so Golden Frieza will be able to finish this off. Uh, Final Form Frieza was able to heal us up a little bit. That'll heal us up a little bit more. I do want to get that in orb right there to heal up a little bit more, but we should be good. I might use a Android 8 on the next rotation uh, to give us a little bit of an extra defensive boost uh, while going up against uh, UI Goku, but. Already, I've, I've been pretty pleased with what we've seen from this Piccolo. Uh, on the Revised Warrior category team, he definitely is a good fit. Uh, this will also be a good uh, test to how well he'll be able to tank. Also, by the way, oh, another five uh, Rainbow Orbs. Thank you. Uh, the thing with Piccolo is that he changes AGL Orbs to Rainbow. And then Tapion changes STR Orbs to Rainbow. That's why there's so many rainbow orbs on the field. Uh, I actually do. I need to use some sort of defensive item here. Because if Mastered UI Goku supers Tech Tapion, we're done. So I'm actually going to use an Icarus. And I think I'm also going to use an Android 8. So our defense and our just straight up damage reduction will be heavily increased for the next two turns. We'll do this, which will give Piccolo a Dokkan attack as well. So let's see what Piccolo will be able to do to Master UI as a Dokkan attack. This is probably going to hurt pretty bad, even with all of the uh, damage resisting we did give. Oh! Uh, <laughs> or Piccolo will completely fucking tank. That's that's what he could do too. Whoa. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. Bam. Yo, this Piccolo, bro. I mean, I did use two items, but still very impressive. So, attack stat up to 1.4 million right there. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this Piccolo. Don't sleep on him. And then all the healing he does from Rainbow Key Spheres. So, another one of these healing type units. I really do fuck with that, really. Uh, and, and, oh, and we're going to get to see Golden, Golden Frieza-sama in the next rotation. He'll probably finish off Ultra Instinct Goku. Because, remember, Golden Frieza does have... A 100% chance to crit uh, the first turn he comes out. So uh, UI Goku is done once he gets hit by that Golden Frieza. Uh, here's Bardock. I actually might eventually rainbow this Bardock because he is a, a useful unit. Uh, I'm running low on units I need to rainbow, actually. Okay, yes! This is the first time I've gotten this in a fight outside of when I did it in the showcase against uh, the AGL Rose boss fight where I stalled until we got it. This is the first time I've seen it, like, naturally. It, it has been naturally, too, because I wanted to optimize Piccolo for this video just to see what he was fully capable of. Uh, this this is a realistic team, by the way. Uh, really, only thing I would say maybe is take off the Super Saiyan Bardock and put in, like, maybe a stronger defensive unit might be a good idea. But this is still, like, a very good revived Warrior team. It's not like I completely made, like, some, you know, mishmash team just to optimize the Piccolo. Like, it still worked out good. Ooh, 2.6. Goodbye, UI Goku. Be gone! <laughs> that, shit, that is such a cool super attack, man. I do love that. I do love that a lot. All right, get out of here, my boy. Get out of here, UI Goku. Get crit. <laughs> Dope, man. All right, yo. I, I like this. I like this. I like this. Hopefully, they will continue to do this with these, you know, free rainbow units, these units at EZA. I know we are getting another uh, free play 100% unit very soon. Uh, the Trunks, Goten, and Marin unit, uh, the Forest Ranger trio, they are the physical uh, free to play 100% unit. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can see more of those in the future. So, this Piccolo, by the way, this is Battle as a Namekian Piccolo. We'll just go over his EZA stats here. 
So when he's fully EZ'd, he is a Namekian category of key three HP attack and defense 77%. So he is the best Namekian category leader. Uh, still only 77% though. And then the Namekian category is also pretty weak. Uh, not a lot of good units, especially on global. Uh, global does not even have Lord Slug yet. Uh, and then he also gives AGL types two key and 30% to all sats. Super Attack is a special beam cannon, which does supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for one turn. Passive skill, Compatriot's Power, is attack and defense 60%. Then he gets a, an additional 12% attack and two key per Rainbow Key Sphere. And then he will assimilate Nail when conditions are met. His links are Z Fighters, Experience Fighters, Namekians, Brainiacs, Shocking Speed, Gaze of Respect, and Shouting Limit. The only thing I'd say about Piccolo's links I wish they would remove Gaze of Respect and replace it with Revival. Uh, that would be very beneficial for him on the Revived Warrior team. Uh, I'm sure if they remembered to make him a Revived Warrior, they probably would have given him Revival. But as it stands, he does not have that. I think when, get, when they gave him the Revived Warrior category, they should have also given him Revival. Would have helped him out a little bit. But considering the nature of his passive and how you want to get Rainbow Key Orbs anyway, maybe it's not the biggest deal. But it would hurt units around him as well, right? So that's kind of an issue. 12 key multiplier is 130%. That is god awful. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sure after he transforms, it's a lot better though. Uh, and then, of course, he does have three categories. He, he's on the Namekian category, and of course, he is the Namekian leader. Uh, Lord Slug is probably still, yeah, definitely still the best unit on the category. Uh, this Piccolo, I think, would rank in as the number two unit on the category. Uh, we also have the Planet Namek Saga category, uh, which he is on. And then, of course, he is also now on the Revived Warrior category. Thank goodness he was put onto that. And then, of course, after... Uh, on the fifth turn, starting from the fifth turn, uh, he will fuse with Nail, uh, which is really not that bad of a transformation requirement. And then we move over here. Boom. And then once he becomes uh, Piccolo fused with Nail... His super attack changes and his passive changes. His 12 key multiplier. I don't know if it changes. Uh, hopefully it does. 130% is very low. I, I feel like considering the Piccolo busts out, uh, you know, a 1.4 million attack stat after his EZA, it's there's probably a good chance that his 12 key multiplier is not uh, 130%. His super attack changes to Feel the Pain of the Namekians, which has supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for three turns. And then his passive skill becomes Sense of Invincibility, where he recovers 30% HP the first turn that he fuses. He changes AGL Key Spheres to Rainbow Key Spheres. And then his attack and defense get a 70% buff at the start of turn. And then he does 15% attack and he gets an additional three key and recovers 18,000 HP per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So Rainbow Key Spheres give him a substantial buff. And there we go. There is the fully extreme Z Awakened. Fuse with Nail Piccolo. Very cool unit. I love that they made him a free-to-play unit. Uh, good things. Listen, th this continues the renaissance of Dokkan. Where they've done stuff like this. Make a really good unit free-to-play. Gave him an easy A. I got no complaints about this Piccolo. Thanks, y'all, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.